months in the ethnic war in Manipur rages on. Now the withdrawal of Assam Rifle Battalions from Manipur highlights the trust deficit between the two communities. The Kukis have vehemently opposed this move. As we travelled from Imphal to the nearby Kangpokpi district, we were greeted by female volunteers who were tasked to guard the boundaries. The instances that has happened in Manipur over the last few weeks has made sure that the indifference between the Kukis and Maithis com communities is at its peak. Currently, as I enter into a uh, Kuki-dominated area, this is the first line of defence. The first line of defence that is being guarded, manned, or should I say, women by girls of the Kuki community who are making sure that each and every vehicle that enters into that area that is actually frisked, and if at all there is any Maithi who might try to enter, he is turned back from here. Because what they say, that they will not be able to provide them safety once they cross this border. यहाँ पे हम लोग दिन रात यहाँ पे क्यों हम चेक करते हैं इसलिए करते हैं क्योंकि जो लोग इम्फा की तरफ से मेटे लोग जो आते हैं हम उनको चेक करते हैं ताकि वो लोग यहाँ से कांपोपी की तरफ ना जा सके ना बढ़ सके ताकि वोइलेंस जो है थोड़ा सुधार आए the use of sophisticated weapons and drones have given a new dimension to the war. Kukis have been accused of dropping sophisticated bombs via drones. So we went to the frontline combat zone atop the hills where a number of bunkers have been constructed to fend off these attacks from the valley. As we reached the bunkers, we were shown the weapons being utilized by the volunteers. These comprised single barrel cannons and tiny observation drones as well as Pompey, a traditional cannon developed by the Kukis. We will put in a, uh, in a directions where our enemies are, mm. and then our volunteers will tie with something, and they will just open this. See, uh, you, I want you to focus this small hole. Small hole. This, will, this is a very uh, uh, important part. Mm. We, uh, our volunteers will like uh, open this, and they will put uh, a gunpowder inside this uh, button. Mm. So they will put along with some thread, one thread, mm. which will come out here. Mm. So, and then after that, they will, uh, our volunteers will close this part. Okay. Mm. And then this ammunition. This is ammunition. Uh, a bullet for our pumpies. This is okay. also an, an upgraded uh, one. Hmm. We put a uh, lot of uh, deadly uh, things inside this hmm. with gunpowders and lots of uh, deadly things. And we uh, out here, uh, this uh, the front part, we put, there is a, uh, a, what do we call, a crackers type uh, hmm. which make a sound. So it will, uh, we put this a, a small spring. Hmm. A small spring, we put a small spring, so that when it touches the ground, hmm. it will give a sound. The Kokis acknowledge that they do own drones, but they claim that they lack the funds to buy those advanced models. They allege unfair treatment by the government. When it comes to drones, hmm. I will just directly say that, yes, we have drones hmm. to surveillance, to sanitize our areas. Hmm. But uh, these high-tech drones, High-tech drones, I will say. High-tech drones, we don't have, uh, uh, we, we are not fit for these high-tech drones. Matlab, uh, we are not uh, having uh, a, a, a very good background mm. to purchase that kind of high-tech drones. The usage of modern weaponry is something that has given a new dimension to this entire war. Although, what we have seen and sensed on the ground, there are single barrel guns, drones that are used for surveillance, and pompies, traditional pompies that are being used as a line of defense from the side of the cookies. It remains to be seen now as to after this development in technology in which direction will this war go and eventually if at all there will be peace that could retain or return to the state of Manipur as it was before this indigenous war had begun.
For more news and updates, all you need to do is follow CNBC TV 18 on all of our digital platforms.